Capricorn. Hello and welcome to your April 2024 20, monthly reading. Capricorn, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you, so please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements, your um, moon and rising, your Venus, to see if there's any more clarity or guidance in those readings for you, if that is what you're looking for. Uh, again, take what resonates, leave the rest, and welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. If you are returning, welcome back. Wow, we have the Queen of Swords with the Moon. All this uh, powerful feminine energy to trust yourself. The High Priestess, again. Hmm. The death card, interesting. The past, the present, we have the Ten of Pentacles. In the future, we will have the Devil. Your energy, Ace of Cups, beautiful. Whoa, way too many cards. <laughs> so the energy around you just fell. Hang on a second. Energy around you is judgment. That was on the ground. And that was the only one that fell hopes and dreams or <laughs> ah. all right hopes and fears seven of swords and then the outcome card is going to be the six of cups all right bottom of the deck energy we have the five of pentacles very interesting got a lot of mixed energy in this reading here switch these up a little bit so I can grab them all right, how you guys doing? How are you all? Can you believe it's April? I cannot believe it's April. Whew, okay, let's see. Straighten this out a little bit. Look good? Were you good? All right, we start out with you and what's crossing you or your energy or the energy your energy is the Queen of Swords. You are the Queen of Swords. We have this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, it is a, a no-nonsense approach to life. It presents as a female, can be a male, but it is basically cutting through the BS, taking charge of your life, um, wielding that sword if you have to. It's a sword of truth. It's a sword of justice. It's a sword of, um, you know, nobody's going to mess with you. Nobody's going to mess with you. What crosses that is the moon energy. And this can talk about deceit, deception. It can also talk about a path being illuminated or something being illuminated that you're not aware of. Um, you know, something could have come to light that made you very, I don't want to say suspicious, but really I feel like you've trusted your instincts because we have the high priestess here. Uh, and that's all about the energy of, you know, the, the feminine, trusting your instincts. The moon is a card of Pisces. It's a card of trusting your instincts. It's a card of uh, fluidity. You know, the moon energy is very uh, watery, feminine. Whereas the sun is masculine. Um, and I have this, you know, illumination around her. I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of like the rays of the sun. And we have an eclipse on the 8th. So there could be some significance to um, solar eclipse on the 8th. To pay attention to that. Pay attention to your dreams. I feel like something has come to light. You've been shown something. You've been... Um, something's been illuminated. Something you've been aware of. Some piece of news or some information that has come to light. And it's made you very um, taking up arms, you know, taking up arms for yourself, not in the sense of a gun and all that, but really protecting yourself as far as your, um, the truth, you know, you're not letting people get by with lies and deceit and uh, doing things behind your back. Uh, it could be a, a partner, it could be a family member, it could be a, you know, the lover, whatever, but something's going on, you've been privy to something. And the high priestess talks all about trusting your instincts, um, using that energy that is 
the divine feminine, whether you're masculine or feminine, use that energy that's the, the divine feminine, that gut instinct that we all have. And we know, we know when something's wrong, we know when something's right. And when you know something's off, it's off. So it's the foundation of it. It's like really trusting your instincts. I feel like with it being the foundation of this reading, it's telling you that, you know, the foundation card is what brought this on. So I feel like you've always trusted your instincts. I feel like you've always had strong instincts. You could have a lot of water signs in your chart also, but you've always trusted that. And this is no, no different time. Um, just because somebody or something tells you to trust them doesn't mean you have to, right? Past energy is a death card. It's letting something go so something can transform. So it could be, you know, where you, you've had to learn the hard way or you've had to let go of friends or partners or people that weren't telling the truth or people that weren't who they say they were. Uh, having this transformational energy with the death card. It's a card of Scorpio. It's a past energy. Um, releasing something from your life. Releasing what no longer serves you. It's very interesting because you have the devil here. We'll get to that in a minute. The present energy, you have the Ten of Pentacles. And this is a card of uh, abundance. It's a card of um, uh, longevity. And a card of, you know, having a family. Having having a legacy, leaving something behind, having kids and the kids have kids and the kids have kids and grandkids, great grandkids and on and on and on and having that built up. That's the present. I feel this is what your focus is on. Your focus on the truth and your focus is on any deception that comes into your life because I feel like you're not going to either if you have a family, you're not going to let it affect the family. And if you don't have one, this is your ultimate goal. I feel like you want this legacy. You want this uh, kids and kids, kids, and on we go uh, with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles can also mean some type of um, money coming in, like if somebody left you some money if they passed or something like that. Um, but, you know, the death card rarely means death. Sometimes it can in certain situations. But I feel like this is a death of a situation that you had to let go of in order to move yourself forward. And I feel like whatever you had to let go of wasn't getting you to this spot. It wasn't the best for the family. It wasn't the best for those involved. Your future, you have the devil card. It's a card of Capricorn. So it's your card showing up in this reading, Capricorn. And it's talking about, I feel like in this instance, it's talking about influences in your life. Be careful about who you let in and how they can influence you in your life. Sometimes we're weak and sometimes we let people in that don't have our best interest in mind. And you would think after all this, we've learned, you know, sometimes we forget. So this card is just telling you to uh, be careful not to uh, backslide and go back to easier ways. Don't go back to people that, um, will tell you they're sorry and will cry and will tell you that everything's, you know, okay or whatever, and they'll be fine this time. Re-remember, remember and use your gut instinct. Use your gut instinct that you have going on really strongly at this time. It can also be a card of addiction and a card of indulgences. So um, again, just be careful that you're not being led down a path that you've been down before that you don't want to go down again is what I feel with with that be careful about who you're surrounding yourself with be careful about who you're letting in your energy is the ace of cups so you're looking for love you want you know new love coming in you want to have an abundance of it you want it to be divinely guided um, you have a lot of love to give I feel also Capricorn and Again, I feel like you want the right love to come in. You don't want a controlling love. That's the devil. You don't want somebody that controls you. You don't want to give up your control again. You don't want to be shackled again, is what I feel. Energy around you is judgment. So again, this is letting go of, it's the past energy, letting go of what no longer serves you to move yourself forward, heeding the call of your future self, letting go of any um, resentments that you're harboring, any judgments that you're harboring, 
being done with that, moving yourself forward in a sense of freedom from the past, wiping the slate clean, you know, giving, you know, turning the page, getting a second chance is what I feel with this card. That's the energy around you. You have this very um, new, clean energy coming in. Your hopes and fears, you have the Seven of Swords. Again, it would have to be a fear card that you're going to let somebody in that's going to do the same thing to you. They're going to take something from you. They're going to sneak around behind your back. They're going to do things like that. And that's what the Seven of Swords is all about. Uh, playing mind games, you know. Uh, playing mind games with you and putting you in that headspace of worry and anxiety and um, where you are not second guessing everything but kind of on pins and needles about everything not knowing what's the truth not believing yourself you know you're being gaslit you're being uh all the things right not letting that happen again it's that control not letting that control happen again you have for your outcome card is the six of cups six of cups is a card about nostalgia about re-remembering really what you want out of life how you want your life to be this could be a card about remembering how you grew up it could be about your mom and dad it could be about your grandparents it could be about somebody's mom and dad that you want to emulate their life how things were simpler how things were nicer how there seemed to be a balance with all of that and I feel like that is what you are um, the ultimate goal is a simpler sweeter life that you don't have to um, totally be on guard 24 7 with and that you don't have to be afraid to leave children with somebody or uh, not believe what somebody's telling you right you want that simpler life and with that queen of swords here wielding that sword you're not going to settle for anything less you're just not going to settle for anything less because you are trusting your instincts you're trusting your gut and you have the sword of truth it's like if I'm bringing this into a relationship then you will too. If I'm bringing this into the relationship, then you will too. I'm not going to second, I'm not going to play second fiddle to anybody. I'm not going to um, feel lost and alone and destitute like I had been in the past. This is, this is subconscious energy. Again, subconsciously, you're worried about letting somebody in that's going to hurt you again. So what that tells me, Capricorn, is that you need to do some healing on yourself. You need to probably take a break and not be looking for a partner right now and just do some healing on yourself. Maybe go to therapy. Maybe do some shadow work. Maybe see what is causing you these feelings and why you don't feel strong enough to handle a situation should it come up. You do feel it here with the Queen of Swords. It's like you feel empowered, but it's almost like it's a facade that inside you don't inside you feel like I can't you know if they were to come back in my life which the six of cups can be a card of somebody returning from the past coming back in if they were to return to my life I couldn't say no to them and I feel you have that inner struggle and you're you're the only one that can rectify your demons so to speak and make that call it's like you know that path you're gonna go down if they come back and they say oh please 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 you know what's gonna happen you know, you know what's going to happen. They don't change. They absolutely do not change. Yeah. You need to um, get out of the lack mentality that you are in. Like, you know, not feeling good enough about yourself. Your self-esteem may be low, so you need to build up your self-esteem. Again, go to counseling. Talk to like-minded people that have been through some type of abuse in that situation. Um, abuse doesn't have to be physical. Physical it could be mental and spiritual as well. All right. I need a card for Capricorn to finish up this reading, please. And a card for Capricorn to finish up this reading. What does Capricorn need to know? Tender embrace. Tender embrace. I think that is for you as much as it is for other people. Elephants. If you're an elephant person, this is definitely a reading for you. What a cute card, huh? Uh, the key concepts are compassion, warm-hearted care for self and others, sensitivity and empathy, benevolence and kindness. 
Put your hand on your heart and breathe deeply, inhaling a sense of gratitude. How do you feel? Keep doing this, tuning in to the world around you, others you know, and even those you don't know. Can you feel compassion for them? Compassion is an emotion of tenderness and sensitivity. It's a feeling of benevolence and reverence as you stand witness to the suffering of the world. Now is the time to reduce that pain and focus on compassion in all areas of your life. Today, do something deliberately kind for another. Even look at, looking at a stranger in the eye and smiling can make a world of difference. The question to ask now are, where do I need to be kinder and gentler? How can I serve and in what capacity can I be in alignment with the solution to the suffering of the world? Could it be that you need to be more compassionate toward yourself? Yes. If you spend all the time in service to others, it's easy to forget about your own needs. When you accept yourself, you can bring more loving energy to others. Today, make a commitment to practice self-compassion. Release yourself from the burdens of perfectionism. Allow yourself the grace to be human and then do the same for others. It's not your job to tell others how to express themselves. Even if you don't like the way the world behaves. Today, be kind for no reason at all and watch miracles arise. That's beautiful. And I also think be kinder and gentler to yourself, even if you backslide, even if you mess up, even if you talk to somebody from the past that you swore you never would talk to again. No, you did it. No, you won't do it again. Or you're going to try not to do it again and go back over all the reasons why this person is, you know, they threw you out of their life. So why would you take them back? Or they treated you so badly. Why would you take them back? Right? Fill your time with meaning. Fill your time with meaning. Fill your time with uh, help for yourself and love and compassion for yourself. All right. Capricorn, thank you for watching. Let me know how this resonates with you. Please feel free to share this with any other Capricorns you know or anybody that you know that this sounds like a good reading for them. Take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe and be blessed. And I will see you guys next time. If you feel so inclined, subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's greatly appreciated. I will see you all. Take care. Be blessed. And until next time, bye for now.